So I said I wasn't going to cook, but the rain kind of died down, and it's not that windy, so I can leave the uh, the awning up, even though you're not supposed to cook under it. But uh, so some flat surfaces on the grill, so the water's going to stay. Um, I might put like something under there, just so it kind of does that. But I mean, as long as it doesn't get wet, I don't really care. Um, uh, I'll probably grab a level to make sure it's level, but I really think the pellet issue is user error. I should have filled it in from the the other side and not the side I did in the video. It just makes more sense. Why wouldn't you fill it where the uh, the auger is? Um, but I also do think that filling it will rectify any issues. Um, I'm not going to use the rest of those because I don't think I have enough, and I will be able to fill it. I'll probably use about. Probably about maybe two or three pounds in there and I probably use seven maybe I guess but I bought some Traeger pellets from Ace if you can and Apple I don't know whether I'm going to mix it or just use one or the other I'm leaning towards, towards just using pecan um, but uh, we'll see, let me get the cover off and, and uh, get moving on this So I got this Tupperware. Let's read the manual. Is this hopper release, uh, pellet release thing? Um, I don't know how often I'm going to use it, but you can see it right. Let's see. It's that metal tab right there. Back in the bag, just to show you. So obviously you're not going to be able to get everything. This is annoying too. Like what? Shouldn't the insides of this hopper be smooth? I'm not, I'm not being critical of Weber, but it's just like common sense. Like why would you have hard edges that stuff can sit on? I mean, it's minimal. But I guess it kind of has to. I'm assuming that's the sensor for when it's low on pellets. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to leave what's in there to start. I'm not too upset about that. I mean, it's, it's, it's a little bit. I mean, so the first hour or so, it's a mix, whatever. The rest, I'm probably just going to do apple. So I'm going to fill this bad boy up with apple. And then uh, at the end of it, just dump the, the rest out. Making a mess. Cut the bag open to stop being lazy. Oh my god. Alright, so it's a 20 pound bag. It does say it holds 22, so that makes sense. So I'm just gonna move it all down this way. I'm curious with these, with some of these, I don't know how it's going to work, I mean I assume it'll be a little longer than what I remember with the Weber ones, but we'll see, we will see. So there's a problem with my uh, memory card, my camera, so hopefully that last part caught with how much ash there was, but you can see there's I guess some unburnt, or not fully burnt pellets dropping in. Um, again, this is my first pellet grill. I don't know anything about them other than I'm supposed to be able to treat it like an oven. So, to the back. In one of the other videos I watched online, you know, if you move this thing around a lot, this thing creeps open. Like this. Just make sure it's shut if you move it around a lot. I mean, I'm, once this thing's here, I'm not going to move it that much, so. I'm going to uh, close the lid now and let it come up the temp. And then I'll put the probe in and uh, 
Actually, you know what? I'm an idiot. I'll just do that now. I have a, um... I didn't even really buy this for the, uh... The probes, because I have a, um... A, what do you call it? Fireboard. Which is the best thermometer system out there. Period. The end. No argument. So, uh... You know, this is like a little bonus for me, but I don't really care about the uh, whole part. So it says that I plugged it in, probe one, fifty two degrees. Alright, so this day's uh, just been annoying beyond all belief between the rain on and off, the smoke are not starting correctly, my dog thinking the covers is new bed. My video camera, memory card not working, I lost like like 10 minutes worth of, of video of me screwing up trying to get this thing started again. I had the same problem again today as I did yesterday where I turned it on, set the temperature, and it didn't heat up. Um, the fire pot just filled with pellets and the um, glow plug never got hot. Turned it off. Emptied the fire pot, turned it back on, and it worked fine. Exactly what happened yesterday. Um, that being said, I have been running. I started off at I did two and a quarter. I bumped up to 275 because it's, it's four o'clock now. Um, the beef ribs probably wouldn't have been ready. I put them on at, at two. I figured five hours, maybe probably less, maybe four at 250. But I don't want them done at 7, I want them done a little earlier, so I bumped everything up to 275. I'm okay with it, uh, you know, I just, just want to get a cook through. So this is the, the latest on the pellets. So this is what's happening. So I filled it up the way you saw me fill it up. And it's, it's doing this. So it's, it's, they're sliding down. I'm just curious what's, how, how much it's going to... If it's ever gonna um, say low fuel and just have a huge pile on this end, um, my knee-jerk reaction to seeing that about a half an hour ago. Let me just show you the. That's the butt. Those are the beef ribs. Oh, they look good. The beef ribs look great. The pork is coming along. Still got a ways to go. Um, but anyway, my knee-jerk reaction to um, the pellet issue was I called Weber asking what the refund policy is. And uh, the first thing he asked me was, uh, "Is it's, it's not assembled in the box, right? And I said, no, it's assembled. And I used it once already. Um, Poured a hole for like 15 minutes, came back. And he goes, uh, is it used? I'm like, yeah, it's used. And they told me to email me back. I haven't gotten an email yet or a phone call. Um, I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm probably gonna wait to see how the food comes out, to be honest with you. Um, it looks pretty good, smells pretty good. Um, the pellet thing, I think if I ended up keeping it, I would probably just, um, get something made up on like a 3D printer or um, figure out something at Home Depot to kind of make the incline steeper or maybe um, down here steeper. Uh, haven't, I'm not really sure yet because I still want to see what happens if that side goes in first because if that side goes in first the sense is going to say low fuel even though everything's on this side but I'm going to try to have some confidence in the Weber engineers that I'm just freaking out for no reason. Um, as far as like the two full starts, if that's what you want to call it, um, 
I'll probably talk to customer service about that. That's kind of more annoying than anything else is that you got to turn it on, turn it off, and turn it back on again. So but we'll see. I'll do another update. Um, probably when it's closer to being done. The internal of the pork is 111. I don't want to get it up to like 190, or basically until the the bone pulls out. That's when I that's when I pull it. Um, hopefully the rain's done for the day and it doesn't get too much colder. But at least we'll put it to the test and see how much uh, fuel it burns to keep going at 275 in around 40 degree weather. I put a whole 20 pound bag in. I can't remember if the video um, the video was corrupted or not. But again, I lost a whole bunch of stuff from today. Almost 6.30. The butt looks pretty good. I threw some chicken on um, about 20 minutes ago. Um, sorry, I lost my train of thought. I did the beef ribs. I took a picture because I forgot we were hungry. Um, I'm not a huge fan of beef ribs. I guess it's like kind of weird, but I just, I'm not a big fan, but I think they were, they were pretty good, but here's the big problem, so I filled this up like they said, 20 pounds, and I haven't touched it, and this is what's happening, so once the, once the little bit of pellets right there, right here, on the left side, move out of the way of the sensor, it's going to say low fuel, now will it, I don't know, you know, it's still early to tell, but obviously this side is more pitched than this side. So, we'll see. Um, you know, yeah, I did call Weber about a return. I think I said that in the last video. Um, but the beef ribs are good. And if you look at the picture, which I'll try to post, I think I can. Um, it's got a good smoke ring, which is kind of shocking for a pellet, as far as I know. Um... You know, if the food tastes good and it, it's, it's, you know, somewhat fixable, the pellet problem, I'm probably going to keep it in the end, depending on how much of a hassle it is to return. Um, I would like an answer to why it wouldn't light the first two times. So, you know, after tonight, tomorrow, I'll probably just try to start it up again, see if it happens again. Uh, but uh, all in all, so far, so good, except for the pellet thing. All right, it's been an hour. I just opened the door, and that happened. It's kind of slid down. Um, so, I'm not too concerned yet now. Um, I've been very gentle with this thing, trying to keep it undisturbed, but um, it did move on its own. I barely opened the, the lid just now. Uh, I don't want to keep opening it, but since I'm out here... Looking pretty good. Some boneless chicken for my wife. Um, everything else is working fine. It's holding temp pretty good. It's not too cold out. Probe's working fine. The app's working fine. Um, so, maybe a little bit of overreaction in the beginning, but I'm still gonna um, entertain a possible return, depending. Uh, just because of the uh, failure to start stuff. Uh, but we'll see what happens in another couple hours. So far, so good. And the, uh, the pile's moving further down, I think. I gotta double check the other videos, but uh, I think it was a premature uh, assumption on my part as of right now. So uh, it's been another hour. Internals 171. Looking good. Oh, 
still pretty solid, so probably be a little while. Just took the uh, pork off, so you can kind of see the ash buildup down there and the grease down there. Um, Hopper worked fine. Um, I, I don't think it's going to be an issue. I'm not going to worry about it. So can leave uh, can chalk that up to just be being paranoid. Um, I'll show you a quick picture of the finished product. Oh, and the one thing, one thing I forgot to mention was the app didn't have an alert. My phone didn't go off when the temp probe hit the uh, target temp. So uh, I don't know if that's a setting I got to change or it doesn't have that uh, ability. So I'll look into that and post it in the comments, I mean the uh, description.